Hi friends, it's Deanna here and today we're working on the free reusable snack bag. It is a free pattern. I love free patterns so this was like yay! And also Am I the only one who always is losing all their containers, reusable containers? I can never find one. Um, I don't know if like my husband just, I don't know what he does with them. Does he think that they're just disposable and gets rid of them? I have no idea. But every time I'm looking for a container to put um, snacks in or something, I can never find it. So this was really neat because I'm like, okay, if they see it, that it's homemade, then maybe it'll click in their head that, oh, I should bring that back home, right? Right? Um, so uh, this is pretty neat. And so I'm making this one for my son, but I haven't yet um, gone uh, and bought some like uh, fabric uh, that is like a, uh, what is it? Like a laminated fabric. I haven't bought that yet. I did buy some that's like a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's kind of like plasticky fabric and I'm gonna make a couple with that but I wanted to buy like a fabric that's a little bit more like a laminated so it's I can just wipe it off but I haven't bought that yet so I'm just using this because I think it would be really cute and this one could be for um uh, dry snacks so uh things that are not gonna get all all nasty in here things that don't need to be cold uh, but this is washable so that's okay if it gets all yucky or whatnot but um, but I want the plastic one so that I could put cool things in there. I think it'd be really nice. But before I get started, let me remind you of our fun, fun giveaway, fun fan giveaway, a $50 Alien Mag gift certificate, which we do every month. And all you have to do is subscribe to our channel. If you haven't subscribed, stop right now and go subscribe. And then you will be entered. Oh, and comment below and comment below one of our videos and you will be entered for our giveaway. Um, so go ahead and do that right now and then come back and let's sew this baby up. Okay, so today I'm just using my sewing machine the whole time because I am using um, <clears throat> woven fabrics and so I'm just gonna use my sewing machine and yes. So we're gonna grab our um, pieces. Um, I already cut out all my pieces this is, again, the reusable snack bag, the free reusable snack bag from Ellie and Mac. So I got my front, I mean my back and my front, and I'm putting it, this is going to be, actually what I meant by that is the footballs are going to be my outer and the jean-like material is going to be my liner. It's going to be inside, which, I don't know, it's up to you. I mean, obviously this is mine, so you don't really care, but okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and sew all the way around the whole thing at the edge, leaving about a two inch gap um, where we're going to turn. And you're gonna leave that two inch gap at the bottom. Now, this pattern is non-directional, but if your pattern is directional, make sure you pay attention to that where you want that to be. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and sew around. And I'm gonna start kind of like at the side so that way I can um, leave that gap. All right, I'm going. Okay, uh, since I am using this uh, woven, I'm just doing a straight stitch, but if you are worried about fraying, which can happen with woven, you might want to, uh, you might want to edge it a little bit. Maybe do a zigzag stitch on the out on the outer side at the edge, or um, if you're worried about it coming apart but I'm not worried about it because honestly I think if it lasts me a little while I think it will be good 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 okay now you can go around and trim your edges make sure don't cut your thread if you kind of got away from the side a little bit and kind of went like right here went a little bit farther in so I'm gonna clip a little bit of that so it's not like a whole ton of bulk right here on this side I went a little bit in Actually, that was probably when I cut the pattern. Sometimes I'm in a hurry to cut a pattern. 
and I end up cutting one piece not as great as the other. I don't know why I'm so bad at that. You know what I want to get? I want to get a projector. Do you have a projector for your patterns? I was actually, um, the other day, my husband and I were at the store buying ink and paper for my printer. And ink is so expensive, is it not? I was like, when we were buying it, and I was telling him about how I've seen some people um, use a projector and how I would just have to buy the tracing paper, the you know, the paper to put it on. Um, and so I have to look into that, but do you use a projector? If you do, let me know in the comments what kind you use and all that goodness. All right, so here it is, sewn around the edges, trimmed around. Now I'm gonna flip it through that hole that we left. I think that that would be like an investment because I print so many patterns. My husband's like, how much ink do you go through? I'm like, I mean, not that much, I don't know. But, and that's one of the things that you don't wanna spend money on. It's like, I wanna spend money on patterns and fabric. I do not wanna spend money on, so this little ruler's got like a little notch right there. So I'm gonna use that to help me turn my fabric all the way around. I don't wanna spend money on ink and paper and all that jazz. I wanna spend it on the things that like I really like. <laughs> So I was thinking if I buy a projector, maybe, you know, it will be cheaper than buying ink all the time. And I don't even print. Do you print the whole tutorial or do you just print the pattern pieces? And then do you layer or do you print all the sizes? I always print, I print the just the pattern pieces and I save the tutorial and then I, um, just print my size or whatever size I'm trying to make at that time. Unless, like a kid pattern, sometimes I'll print like uh, a couple sizes up. Because I know I'll probably be making it again and they'll grow out of it. So I'll print a couple sizes up. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and steam. And right here where we left that gap, I'm going to turn it in my seam allowance right here at the bottom turn that in and then i'm gonna go in and top stitch right there so i can close that gap right there don't look at my iron don't know what it is i gotta clean it okay i'm gonna top stitch right there at the top All right, that top stitch closes that gap right there that we um, left open. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put our loops and whatever it's called, our little sticky loops and hoops. I don't know, sticky things on there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and on the, um, soft side with the soft side we're going to do on the bottom of the outer so this is our outer we're going to find our soft sides or soft sides of our loops and whatever and we're going to put that on the bottom of the outer so if your pattern is directional you need to make sure that you look at that and we're going to put it one fourth from the side and three fourths from the bottom I get distracted easily by my neighbors coming home or leaving. I can hear them. Anyway, okay, so here's the other one and I'm actually measuring it. Are you um, proud of me? It's not something I usually do. All right, so I'm just pinning. Ah! My pin had a hard time with that. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew around and like a one eighth of a inch uh, seam allowance. Ah, I went too far, too far, too far over. 
Make sure you remove your pin. Oh, it keeps going too far over because it's such a little. All right, one is done. Let's do this other one. All right, so it's sewn on. They are sewn on. I'm gonna kind of trim these. I went back and forth. I mean, not back and forth. My machine has like a, a thing I can push and it ties a knot at the end. So that's what I did. But if you don't, then you might wanna go back and forth so that you can um, catch that so it's not gonna come off. Cause there's gonna there's a lot of pressure on, the, on that stuff. Cause, ooh, there's that mail later. She is the best. I love her so much. She brings me fabric. She's awesome. Um, anyway, so um, it, so when you open it, you don't want it to like open it and then the Velcro uh, like doesn't come apart, you know? So you wanna make sure that it's nice and, and well stuck on there. Okay, so now we're gonna turn this around, turn it around and the scratchy side, we're gonna put it on the inside the top inside so because when you fold it when we finish up and we fold it it's going to be just like so okay so you want to make sure that it's right here and it's one quarter inch from top and one quarter inch from bottom quarter inch and now we're going to go ahead and sew that puppy up Okay, there's one. It is sewn on. <clears throat> okay, trim all these little pieces. And then, you know what would be really neat? I am really, really wanting to get an embroidery machine. Okay, so I have a Viking Designer One um, and it's got embroidery, like it can embroider. And I have so many things for it, but it's an older version I got from my mother-in-law and it's, I mean, my great, uh, my grandmother-in-law and it works with, um, see if I have one, floppy disks. Um, so have you seen these? If you're old enough to know these, that's, yeah. So I remember doing those, using those for school. But anyway, um, so they don't make them anymore and it's really, really kind of not hard, but you know, like, I don't know um, how to get stuff, the system and everything in there. There are some things on there, but they're very small. Um, and I can't, I, I haven't been able to work the hoop very well. I probably need to do some better research, but I use it for everything else except for the embroidery um, side, but I really want to embroider so I might get myself like a less expensive because this one's a little bit more expensive, but I want to get myself a less expensive embroidery machine and figure it all out and then maybe be able to come back to this one. But it would be really cool to write your child's name on here, embroider it on there. I also have a vinyl, um, a Cricut, so I might just Cricut it on there and he would love that to get his name on it. And it would be so cute. I love that. 
um, my pattern piece. I'm gonna grab my pattern piece because now what we're going to do, don't look at my stash of unfinished projects. That's where I kind of start stacking my projects when I haven't finished them. Um, so here's my, not my pattern piece. I don't know where I put my pattern piece. Anyway, okay, so what we're gonna do is, in your pattern piece, it shows you exactly where to fold it. But I'm just going to eyeball it because for some reason, I don't know where I put my pattern piece. I've already made this one a couple times, so I think I'm gonna put it away and just said, hey, I can do it. But really, I'm just gonna flush that bottom side with the edge and enough that you can meet the top. You see that? You can meet them together. And I'm gonna open it back up and then I'm going to pin these sides because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and top stitch, okay? And we're top stitching all the way down, all the way down. If you want to top stitch all the way around, you can go ahead and top stitch all the way around so it has a nice, even look. So we're gonna go ahead and top stitch and then we'll be done. Didn't think about the fact that you probably don't want to see the top stitch of this whole thing. But I wanted to do the whole thing with y'all so you can see how quick and easy it really is. are done all I have to do is clip all these little things off and that is it my snack bag is ready how cute is that and honestly if you make this in really cute like colors um too you could make this could be a um it could be a wallet um, I, this same pattern, I might cut it like in half and, um, like, uh, the other way, this way and, and just use it for a, um, a wallet, you know, like a cute little wallet size. You can make these as presents for everyone that you know. Um, when you have a birthday party, um, like, um, whatever theme your birthday party is, you can use that fabric and make them for the kids and put snacks inside of them put their name on it. That is such a good idea. I would love that. I think I might, I might do that. My son's birthday's coming up. That's such a good idea. I'm so smart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go get the pattern. If you don't have it yet, it's free. Um, and check out all the other free patterns that we have. The link is below. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, come and like, share, and subscribe. And come join us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. No.